What do you think about the homelessness situation? In the job that I worked with, I, I dealt with a lot of people who were at times who were homeless and uh, some of it is by choice. Uh, given the options to have housing, uh, many will reject it because along with that, uh, with the provision of the housing comes expectations regarding behavior or whatever else uh, and they simply are not willing to do that. Um, there's a drug addiction problem that is, that eh, these people, you can't, you simply just can't put them into a place and expect that it won't burn down during their activities, or or they won't die in there and the place become unlivable because of the uh, because of the, their body was rotting there for a week. There's there's all sorts of problems that we have. That unless we're willing willing to address them, the homeless problem is not going to change either. It's very different. I have the perspective from my country and here. Uh, I got impressed when I saw the amount of homeless people that is living here. I'm not going to involve in things like drugs or <laughs> things like that right now. I think that's part of the situation. Some things for others. In my country there are a lot of like narco traffic and that's a problem but here the government is the one who gives the drugs and but it's another problem because a lot of people can get them. But also I think a lot of people have been getting homeless because of the rental prices or if they are not they're having to change their lifestyles to maybe share or something like that. My mom has a friend who lives with like in a house that shares with 11 people and I think it's just done fair. I think it's a really bad situation and maybe it's one of the biggest problems that I have seen in Vancouver, the, like homeless and the situation with the drugs. There are many homeless people here. I think it's not good because uh, irrespective of uh, themselves, they are bad for other people, for public. It uh, shows a bad image and bad picture from Canada to international people and foreign people. Yeah, yeah, I saw Those people homeless in the people, uh, the most, they are in the downtown or like... In Vancouver. Yeah, yeah. not in here, but but they are, the population of ho homeless in Kukilam also is increasing, like from six months ago, now here, I'm, I see them more, yeah. And why do you think this is happening? Maybe the drugs, it's here, it's selling so many in a school and like uh, the drugs is so easy to find it's bad it's bad here i think a lot of it just just comes down to addiction and until you can solve that then you're going to be able to solve everything else so i i feel sorry for them it's it's sad i mean i say i saw tents go up all the times they don't have any support there, there's nothing they get they have tents to treat and the government doesn't pay attention to them Do you, why if the government gives gives drug addicts free drugs why aren't they giving the alcoholics free alcohol i don't understand that it makes no sense to me give them help instead of giving more drugs give them some counseling or what they need to get off but they're not giving them more it isn't helping it's like giving someone to try to quit smoking another pack of cigarettes it mm -hmm. makes no sense to me we've essentially said i don't care what your life is like just don't steal stuff go lay in a gutter someplace and stay out of our way and that's essentially what the government's done it isn't it they've they're not addressing the human being all these times that you drive down the street and you see somebody who is in absolute mental agony they've got no resources they've got nowhere to go they've got no no hope you think this is what a, a kind and just society looks like um, at some point in time we have to look at our it does a just society allow people to continue in their agony or do we maybe look at involuntary con confinement. Uh, I'm not talking about putting them in jail, but I'm talking about something else where, where somebody with mental health issues is taken care of, given resources, given activities, uh, given medication so they're not self-medicating. And <sighs> government has shown themselves of being very inefficient at doing anything well. How do you uh, address the homelessness? Uh, invest money in it. So with the homeless people, because I worked downtown Vancouver quite some time, uh, no one's paying attention to them. They're all in their tents. Um, there's a lot of uh, uh, mental health issues. The government needs to invest money in fixing, correcting those mental issues by giving support to them. You can't just throw them into a house and say you're going to be fine. Give them mental support, get them back on their feet again, but that's a cost they have to commit to. They're not doing that. Every government said they're going to uh, fix the homeless uh, issue in uh, Vancouver. No one's ever done it. Like, you know, when they closed River, uh, Riverview Hospital, and they let everybody go. With they gave them what their prescription drugs were, they they had they went through those about a week. They need to get a facility, maybe build another hospital, and get these people off the street, give them a different environment, and give them whether it's counseling, psych, psych, psychiatry before they give them more drugs, help them. 
and then it can be part of the community, be part of the workforce. I just came back from Seattle and Florida, and I saw it everywhere. There's tent cities everywhere. The government's ignore it, which is sad.